Good day, have a word, and today you're welcome to Sectro Craft Channel. This is the Sectro's talk show slash Q and Hey, and today I'm so happy because we're having a special topic. <laughs> for those of you that joined us last week, Wednesday, you already know the topic. For those that are coming on board for the first time, please listen attentively to the topic. Today we're going to be considering how to keep your man using fashion sense. How to keep your man using fashion sense. And don't forget our custom on this channel is that once you join us, you're going to greet us in your dialect. You're going to tell us where you're joining in for. We are so sorry for joining in late. And as you're joining in, don't forget to give us thumbs up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A mini joket oluwa lashe set true. Omo yoruba ni mi eka sonde yeo. And left out. So try to greet us using your local dialect wherever you're joining in for. And today we're going straight to the topic. Are you married, single, or engaged? And are you actually waiting to discover the Mr. Nice Guy? Then you've got to listen to what we have to discuss today because uh, Mama Nkechi, Mama Sikira, Mama Zainab, they neglected this topic. And right now, their husband is following everything, anything, even if a chicken ties wrapper. Their husband is following that chicken. Oh, so that's just it. And for today, you have to listen to this topic. So let's just have your view. Somebody just said hi. Hi now. So okay. Fatima, you're welcome. Thank you for coming on board. This is a place where we answer your fashion related questions and non-fashion related questions as well. And today we're taking it further into fashion uh, as in sense, as in keeping our home. Hey, Ndewo, Angela Ekeledu. Hey, <laughs> Madam Ekeledu. <laughs> Ndewo, hey, uh, as in if you speak Igbo. I'm in Igbo. In a super wow. In a Okay now. I I I in a in a suzuwawa. Please answer if you if you got that uh, uh that uh Igbo language. We are so happy that you're speaking your dialect to us. So if you're joining, if you're an outside person, speak outside to us. If you are from the Caribbean, speak your language. If you are from Ghana, from Togo, we want to learn your language, preserving the African culture. We know we are designers on this platform. There is a quest right now going on for all Africans how to preserve our heritage not only should we just be interested in fashion fashion and preserving our heritage so back to today's topic how to keep your man so you just got to listen to this to know how to keep your man using your fashion knowledge and your fashion sense it's not good you're just doing fashion fashion and your husband is running after every dictum and Ari that is tying up and they're saying <laughs> i had a scenario when i served at kaduna state for those of you that are outside nigeria as in kaduna northern part of nigeria i know you know it so when i served in kaduna state i was wearing one uh skirt that was so long and the top was so long and i was not even looking you know i was looking at you and all the likes and so one guy walked up to me i was like i'm interested and i said ah, don't you even look at the faces do i look like one of those that you should be interested in as in can't you even see everything can't you see how, how i am so please, please, what, what if I was coming from the water kingdom? And I, <laughs> I want to believe I was coming from the water kingdom. So Mr. Cetro is going to have the floor. He's the one that told us last week that he wants to teach us how to keep your man using fashion sense. He's going to have the floor and we have different skills looking at ways in which you can use your fashion sense, your fashion skill, your fashion knowledge, your technical know-how, your ex exposure in fashion to keep your man. And number one, according to Professor Diocetro's dictionary, he said that man is a manager of new things. Hmm. Okay, let me look at the people that are responding already. Oh, you, you, are you guys couples? <laughs> if yes, then I'm, I'm praying, praying for, for a similar marriage. We are couples, though. We are couples. He's my, he's my son, Torito. He's, he's my baby girl. He's my lord or one of Africa. <laughs> we okay. are so it yes. will it will be nice to have some you know to have a couple so i pray that you you find a better half for yourself so Amen. that you you will enjoy the bliss of marriage okay with that being said so, uh, uh the what we are actually looking at today how to keep your man your man using fashion, fashion sense, sense yes. let me tell you that whatever topic we are talking of here at the end of the day you can still make and you will still make money out of it because it's we are relating it with, to fashion and fashion is not fashion until there is something about you and your spouse 
that can really market your handwork outside them because the first person you you show as your what as the symbol of your fashion premium skills are your immediate family once you are able to dress up your man the way he should be dressed you know and he's already going to be addressed the way he is dressed then you are what you are putting money into your pocket so if i'm a guy now i'm, I'm into fashion the first place that they should see my handwork will be on my on my wife because i should be able to dress her up so since today we are talking about men and uh, about men being undoed by women so i will go into this position i'll pretend as if i'm talking on behalf of my wife now how to keep your man using fashion sense the first definition is that what is man who is man <laughs> If you are talking about, let me be interpreting. Also, we pay. I know, don't, 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 don't do that. <laughs> who is man? So, we are talking of who is man. See, man is a manager of new things. The way men are, are wired, they are wired to treasure people that are what that are new every day. Anything that is new, anything that is new is what men loves. But if you are like old cagolic persons. Mm, your man will start looking outside though. Somebody said hey. somebody said how to type as Tenny. Hey, she typed a language. Okay. So we love this or we love this. We want Rich, more. Richmond Buffer. Age man. It says how to type in Asante. Asante. Okay. Oh, Asante three language. Mani gay. Mo opa. Me MP3 S3. Meware Adepam no. Okay, oh interpretation, oh, please. This, As you are typing in your language, your, I like it. This so, your language can <laughs> crash a laptop. This is lovely. I, I love this. So I want you to give us the meaning of what to us. I want you to say uh, to uh, send us the meaning of what, what you just, just said to now. us. We really appreciate okay. that. Ati Joseon says. Uh, good afternoon, man, sir. Love Very good, good afternoon. Very good afternoon. Tell, tell us good afternoon in your language as okay. you're joining the program. And we're saying one thumbs up. Please give us thumbs up. As thumbs up. up. Give us thumbs up. Give it's thumbs up. an interesting one today. I want to tell you, you're going to enjoy Gay Gay Gay. Okay, oh, yeah. going back to the main things here. If you want to really keep your man, <laughs> you want to keep your husband from all these small, small children carrying small, small skirts up and down. Hmm. My brothers and my sister, you <laughs> have to do something. <laughs> You have to open your eyes and begin to behave the way you are supposed to behave by making sure that your husband is looking good. Am I not looking good? <laughs> in my, in our, in our care. <laughs> so keep for this guy now. In the truth, I'm a boy of him, man. Okay, so what we are just trying to say is that um, if you really want to make it well in any endeavor, your home must be settled yes. as, as a married person man a married uh, woman your home must be settled and if you're in the fashion industry you have this powerful equipment to keep your man at home yes unlike any other persons forget about all these bankers all these other people doing something going to do five to six mm -mm 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 -mm. because if it is jumpsuit you know how to create it you will create it by the time your husband come back his head will be making <laughs> so, my girlfriend is seamstress and I just <laughs> and okay. I just enrolled as an apprentice. Whoa. Okay. My my girlfriend is a seamstress and I just enrolled as an apprentice five months ago. I've been learning so much from your videos. Ah, oh, thank, thank you, you so Richmond. <laughs> thank you so much, Richmond. So what we're trying to say is that when you are a female and you're in the fashion industry, you God has just bought out your bed because you have the opportunity up to 96 point 96 percent opportunity to keep your man because what are these men looking out for they're always looking out for new things and for you to be new you just have to be appearing dashing interesting to look at can you look at my sweet porero <laughs> look at this one and she just look like porero that is <laughs> that is what that is that, that is <laughs> you know what they mean one lies <laughs> right Right, sweet Porero. <laughs> so, what are we trying to say? Can you imagine that as she is now, she just uh, wake up in the morning, she ties wrapper, and uh, there is a uh, saliva from the mouth there. She's even, she's even trying to use 
not even brush she's using Paco and you know doing the this thing she's not going to be looking new to the husband and it is at that point in time that um one like a gay bread seller that knows how to package herself well dress very well people will be saying that I get gay bread seller with whiskers and everything is what that man is following no there is something about packaging it. she has packaged all the you know what i mean now all, all the all, all the, the university that has depreciated <laughs> but i find this packaging for you even you the professor <laughs> you become a memorized <laughs> So, so number two. <laughs> so, so what we are talking about is that for you to, as a fashion designer, yeah, they need to see the handwork, yeah, in your life. And by the time they see the handwork, the first person to appreciate you will be your spouse. Yeah, yeah. Even if you are in a relationship, the first person to see it will be your spouse, and that's where all this little little design comes in. The little, it might just be a, a an Ankara bow net yes. that you put there uh, that yes. will make the clothes, it might still be the same clothes. The air bonnet that you put here today that will make a difference. Tomorrow you look for a pink one, you hang it somewhere. Tomorrow you do a short top and you a have crop a, lot, top. a crop top and all you, the stuff. Then sometimes you just like, you just like, ah, my husband will soon come back. You go and change, you dress well, you make sure that. The top is contrasting. You know what is really nice? Contrasting color. Especially those of you that your husband are working in offices. Hey! You know, if you know what your husband are passing through, every time your husband is going to the office, just be releasing prayer. <laughs> because, because, because in the offices, look at look at uh, 97% of broken homes. It did not break in the garage. Oh. It breaks right there in the offices. Especially those that work 9 to 5. And they leave home early they stay there all through there will be this small lady small picking small girl from uh, one university especially those ones that they are just employing and if your husband is working in any of these big organizations like banks like our company and the rest are you know what i just mean it's just jesus that will be escorting him and bringing him back so but what will actually make you to stand out is what your ability to dress yourself first, because even as you are dressing yourself, you are cutting clothes for yourself, you are creating designs for yourself, that will open additional source of income, income. We attract more customers to you, just the same way it's attracting customers to you, that's how it will attract your husband's attention to you. Your husband will just be at work, will just remember, hey, I can't wait to see the my sweet potato. my sweet at uh, the the next who knows what colors is she's combining today by the time and I the get micro to, mini. So she'll be expectant and that's where I also want to address uh, um, Christians and the likes of of, of us um, whatever religion you practice always have it at the mind at the back of your mind that your husband are not uh, they are not angels. And they are not stick. And they are not. They don't see women as trees. <laughs> eh? But they don't see women as trees. And before you know it, even the strongest of man, if care is not taken, can just even if care is not taken, you might even be there. Can just uh, his head might just rotate like this. <laughs> when he sees what is not seen at all, so. The best way to do, which will be something that is very, very effective, it has proven effective, is how you dress. It is based on how you dress that you'll be addressed. And um, you also have the influence on how your husband to dress. Yes. So, number so two, I want to go to point two. Set a day in uh, set a day aside in the week for your in-house fashion parade. Okay. Set a day aside in the week for your in-house fashion parade. Do you know that uh, one of the best ways to keep your man is to make the home full of fun and the likes of them. Don't just have every day look just the same. No, no. Uh, yeah, BK we always come and greet me and put food on the table. No, 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 no. There should be a specific day that you just create fashion parade, you know. Your husband is coming back like this. Your husband is coming back from the office like this. The next thing he opens the door, just sees you. A music, soft music is playing, and you are putting on different attire that you have made for yourselves. You know, that's where 
different kind of clothing because it's just you and your husband yeah, yes. now. Different kind of clothing uh, clothing comes to play. Even For those sets, even those it. clothes that you cannot wear outside. I'm not advising everybody to wear that outside. But we are talking of, of what mind retention game. You must be able to retain your man because I won't come work. They want to discard your man. They want to delete your man from your from your system to their own system. They want to transport him. So you must also put in efforts. Okay, I think someone is uh, Richard Bafour says, my girlfriend is a seamstress. Okay, mm -hmm. I think what I type in accento three language. I am very, <laughs> I am very happy about, yeah, about you, guys. you guys. I would like to marry a fashion designer. <laughs> Your lady yes. is already into fashion design. So you, you can see that, especially when you now start getting, I'm just diverting a bit into what you said now, especially when you now start, you start making children, you start making babies. You know, unlike uh, the fact that you have to just wait and be looking for a specific design to buy and this thing, you, by the time your wife, as a woman, you begin to create some fine designs for your children. And as your husband is coming back from work, you, the mother, lead the way with a very fine, skimpy design. Skimpy, skimpy. skimpy. You know what we the call The ones skimpy? at home is... You know, <laughs> the, just for you and your husband. Though. Yes, sir. So, as a... skimpy designs... So whatever skin pilicious they have seen at the office, that one will delete it. <laughs> you understand? Because hey, my dear, I'm, I, we you have seen a lot. You are talking from experience. I'm not talking what from uh, just talk, talk the back? I'm talking from experience like this. I, I used to be a bank staff. By the time some <laughs> some ladies will sit down in front of you, you will just have to concentrate on your laptop, or you die. <laughs> they are in front of you like this. You must not look at their face because hmm, the more you look, the less you see of your life, of yourself. So there are some that even when pen drops, ah, hello, opportunity. when pen drops, <laughs> that's why you, if you're a female here, you need to know how to keep your, your husband. When pen drops, and you know, Satan, I will like the pen to drop so that they will pick it by the time you want to pick it and she everything, you would have dead this. <laughs> So, so let's not uh, focus on all those ones. So by the time your husband gets back home, he should be able to see something that is highly, highly interesting about you. And, you know, it should be fun coming back home. So that even when those ones come, and I'm just like, I need to better and lay. That these ones are just... Uh, Yes. They are just public. Yes, they are just public figures. So, so number three is uh, create harmony between fashion and food placements. You have just that that number two was actually create this, an harmony. This is where I need to sit down properly. <laughs> See, a lot of women have actually uh, lost their home yes. based on this fact, this simple fact. Yeah. Let me tell you, fashion doesn't stand alone, no. Yeah. And that's why last year when we did a program, we did fashion and, and food, food expo, expo. 2019. Fashion is always going with something. It's always going with culture. It's always going with music. Yeah, it's yeah, always yeah. going with uh, food. It's always going with whatever you think about it. So that's why at home, always have this principle that fashion and food placement must work, must tango. Mm -hmm. They must go together. And as a result of this, what you just need to do is, if you are serving you a bar... bar there should be a dress code that you, as a woman, if you are serving your husband, is is coming back from office, you are serving him a bar, there should be a dress code that will follow. Check, just try it out and you tell me the outcome. Anytime you are serving a bar, we are Oleku. <laughs> Chai, you know what they call Oleku? The skimpy the one. Skimpy, Iro and Buba. Ah. You understand? By the, the, time, the Buba that is really, you know, the where, Buba that when you do like this, you know, this you, one where, I'm wearing, where I can't tell you. Where simple Oleku, where simple Oleku, that, oh, when you are serving the Eba, and you now make sure that the Eba is coming with assorted, assorted draw, draw soup that is baptized with, you know, you know what they call seafood or crop? <laughs> wow. <laughs> as, as he's sipping it, is. You just see your husband is not concentrating. That's when you see the food start dripping on his body. You just be looking. You don't follow into it. You just sit down and be and smiling. Be smiling like a goosey that is wearing tomato on his head. Uh -uh. 
because you know you are only smiling. You are not even smiling because of anything. You are smiling because you know what you have done. You have permitted his brain to be like. Thank God I married this wife. Because that husband has spent long time in traffic. Probably maybe they have tried to steal his phone while yeah. he was in traffic. Yeah. Maybe he passed through Shodi and they tried to break his glass. But getting back home is getting relieved. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is what they call value for dowry. So so it's you can you can see the stuff now. Mm. Even if your husband doesn't love eating solid, mm. but the way you presented it, mm. the way you now dressed, ah. the way you 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 Yoruba walk, <laughs> you native walk to drop it. And you know this native there is this native pot. Yes, sir. There is this native pot. Make sure you serve the soup in native pot. Gege. Oh Gege. Ge. Serve it like what they call inquabilization. <laughs> Mkwabi. By the time your husband is eating this food, he will just be like, wow, why should I know I'm go and sit down at a joint and, and be spending money there? In short, I will <laughs> give you my money. You know, go. So, what we are trying to say is that. Then, secondly, let's assume you now want to serve, serve. rice. Uh, some some women have been, have been sending their husband out. Gone are those days as when you want to serve rice, you just put rice in plates Plate. and you just put stew on it. No, 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 that's not the trend now. You put rice in one plate, you put stew in another plate, then the little pomo, maybe you are even cooking it with small pomo, the little pomo, you would have used your knife to shape that pomo to look like jerry koi, to look like indomie koi. So you know you arrange pepper. You sensualize it. You, you just put it. Oh shit! You look for green pepper. Green pepper is fifteen naira. You look for green pepper. You spice it up. It comes out with different okay. different color. You put a uh, what's it called? You now go and even buy fried fish. Maybe there is no. More. I'm just talking of low cost. I don't want to talk of expensive stuff yet. You just look for fried fish and you just, you know, you break it inside. Let me tell you. Number one, when you, when you are through with that rice. You slice on onion on it, and it's bringing out some particular scent. If you are serving this kind of soup, uh, uh, this kind what of dress? Food, what's the dress? Do you know the kind of dress code you no, will serve? No, no, no. Have you ever traveled by plane before? Have you seen all those uh, senorita? When they come, it's only biscuits they are bringing up. But if you see the skirts with which they will wear and cut work down to give you the biscuits, you the, uh... the biscuit that you will not eat at home will now look sweeter. So when you are serving this kind of stuff, Rice. what you need is, you know, you are separating the food. The way, the same way you have separated the, the food, food, that's how you separate the skirt. Let the skirt be very, very... One part short. You know, husband related though. Yes, sir. Now, let, let the top... Let the, the top... top is... No, mm -mm, not that. Let the top color blend with the skirt color. If the skirt is uh, black, let the top be red. Mm -hmm. That's what they call on the way out. <laughs> Hello. On the way out. All this thing you are doing at home, you are just improving your what? Your color blogging sense. This will have effect. Yeah, you might be laughing with what I'm saying, but it will have effect in the way you create fashion designs for your husband, uh, for your for your I customers. Sell, uh, yeah. You understand? Now you now know that red. Black and touch of red will what we bring out the beauty of yourself. You now look for elbow that is red, just to tell your husband that <laughs> today is Valentine. <laughs> this is how I am on fire. <laughs> your worship is my weapon. <laughs> so, at the end of the day, you discover that your husband we eat the rice. The way he has never eaten it before. And he will. He will not be saying the rice is sweet. Whereas it's the same rice that you have been pouring soup on. As if you are preparing food for Ayilala. <laughs> <laughs> but this time around, your husband will be like, wow, I need to get back home. Now, on another day, maybe it's porridge. Maybe it's... Sorry, Catherine is laughing, okay? <laughs> maybe, maybe it's porridge that you want to prepare. 
If you are preparing porridge for your husband, yes. just know that in porridge you have poured a whole lot of concussion together and the likes like that. So for yes. a porridge, all you just need is night gown. Gege. Just night gown. <laughs> Gege. So after the porridge, yes, you go and porridge lies yourself. <laughs> so, so the what's what's that is that once your husband eat this you just want both of you to just go and sleep and forget the trouble of the day put a wine always see if if wine is too expensive look for zobo that's what we, that's what we, that's what we, that's what we call zobo and see the, it is up to you to make it look like zobo or oh, look like wine. wine by the time you pour zobo in a wine bottle Gege. and put it in freezer Gege. or you even bring ice you drop it into glass and look for hello if you don't have the umbrella the real <laughs> Ketri umbrella this. said Ketri said i'm enjoying your talk ah, ah, ah. <laughs> Continue. so by the time you Thank present you. it by the time you present it your husband will look at the porridge and you know when you are serving the porridge even if there is no meat inside the porridge make sure that it's very red momo mm. is standing and looking at your husband like this that you today will fight a battle <laughs> So, and he sees the garnish in everything. I tell you, those are what will make your husband to be happy. The following day, he will trek to the office. <laughs> the money that he would have used to enter transport, he will give you a tow to prepare better food. Ah. So from there, you have started gaining the attention of your man. Ge -ge. All because you are a fashion designer. Ge -ge 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 -ge. Now, what does that give us in fashion? If you are bringing this into fashion, uh, infusing music in if, fashion. No, 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 I'm not going into that now. If you are bringing this into fashion, that means that what actually makes a design very interesting, very beautiful, is not about the expensive material that you use. Yes, you can have you you can have somebody that is spending fifty thousand on just fabric alone make a cloth and it's not as good as somebody that just bought as good as somebody that just bought ankara ankara and what he just did was to watch just get a an a, a, a contrasting a contrasting color to create a what to create a muffler to create a flower to create a simple attachment to it and you know you now begin to see that what is actually happening at home we impact positively on your business yeah 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 and as your husband is finishing those food that is waking up if it, before he has been dreaming that a uh, cow used to pursue him in the dream by the time you change the way you present yourself and you prevent his food to him you now see that your husband will just dream he will begin to see himself in united nations meeting talking with people and he's counting dollars and he's waking up happy. He's seeing the dollars. You understand? Yes. He's seeing the dollars. Yes. So those are one of the things. So what's the next one? Yes, yeah, the next one on how to keep your fashion designer that doesn't love music. He has not started. Because fashion is a creative industry. And for you to be creative, you need some level of music. Hello? And the best music that can inspire your what your creativity are the slow jazz mm -hmm. the musicals just like flutes flute is just blowing and you see the way you'll be cutting inspiration will just be flowing or you are listening to jazz you are listening to jazz georgia you know all those kind of stuff slow jazz you'll be cutting you'll be having inspiration or you are a believer you are listening to you know orchestras you know orchestrations. orchestration whatever is being called you are listening to just relevant things now let's bring that home if fashion works with music, music. how do you think your husband will relate with you Back home, and sometimes he opens the door and just have eh, a, a, a cable. Come, welcome. No, no, no. Next time, just try this. Put on a red micro mitigated gown on a Friday. Look for flour. <laughs> Throw it on the floor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're speaking. Throw it on the floor. 
And by the time you throw the flour on the floor, by the time you, by uh, uh, Olu me says good afternoon. By the good, good afternoon, afternoon Olu By the time you throw the, you put the flour on the floor, look for nice fragrance. Let them be smelling yeah, everywhere. Yeah. You want to so let the flour lead into the dining table. By the time it gets to the dining table, we'll be expecting that food will be there. Just write a note. Open the plate. By the time he opens the plate cover, you know, a big bowl would have been there. What is just seen will shock him. As he opens the plate, just put on the music. And because what he's seen in that plate is what dance with me. Gege. What? And you just put on the music. <laughs> And the soft music is blowing there. Just, mm. just come out and start dancing with your husband. Gege. Lead him to the kitchen. Gege. I'm telling you how to keep your husband. Lead him to the kitchen. As the mu music is blowing, is playing, yeah. let him see the food that you have refused to prepare. Because this Friday, you are only telling him that there is no work tomorrow. So I want you to enjoy the stress I go through with me in cooking our sumptuous meal. What do I mean by that? You are showing that man to treasure you in the process of cooking while both of you enjoy it together. I will say that you would have parboiled the rice waiting for him to come so that you will fry the stew together. Get, get. I tell you, by the time, make sure you have done all the pre this, you know, the as prep. you just the prep, you have done the prep. What you, are just, what you just want to show him is that, sweetheart, today, I want to show you how I make my malakotani <laughs> peppery soup. Malakotani? Malakotani. <laughs> ah, you need, you need to consult me. <laughs> Let me teach you so that you teach your husband. You pay $5. <laughs> malakotani peppery soup. Oh. So by the time, you know, malakotani peppery soup is a very fast food. Under two minutes, is ready. The, you would have gotten, uh, what is it called? This Gino pepper. Just pour it in the basin. You pour oil. You drop fresh fish, like um, what's the name of this fish? Tilapia, yeah, fish. like uh, salmon, like Indian salmon, like you know. Those... Most of the ones that the, their money may not be up to that. If your like money, fish, if your money is not up to that, like buy pan, panla and pomo. You understand? Make sure that you have green green pepper yes. and this in the there. The bell peppers, the green By the pepper, time the you pour pepper. this in together, fish, I Ge -ge. tell you, when you are even turning the this in, Step give, frying it. give him to sip. You will, you will see your husband in a way let you me, have never seen him before. Let me announce to the old world. You, Mr. Tetra is very good at cooking all these things that he's telling you people. Ah, if he wants to cook for me, and my children will say, I we love that daddy's soup. Let daddy come and make it for us. If he makes one, I, ice is pushing ah, me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ice is pushing me. <laughs> if he makes one, uh, he, he, he will just call it pepton garnish. He will just give us one. He will say, okay, we are all going to eat. <laughs> you know, the food. Someone is talking. Okay. Um, Ketri Ketri. said. Really, wow. <laughs> you guys are real. I love you. Wonderful. I need, need to come for more talk. Wow. You are the best. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Edward El, says. Edward says, I love all you have missed my wife. <laughs> yeah, hey, continue okay. that talk. So, you decide that by the time you, you lead your husband through this process, you will now see the process. But there is one part I always want you to give to your man. Even if you are not allowing him to do anything, look for a, look for onions that is very pepperish. You know this pepperish onion? Let him help you to slice it. By the time he's crying, in his mind, he'll be saying, wow, so this is what my wife passes through to make the food that I will come back after I've taken some bottle of beer out there. I will just put my hands small, small on it. I will stop taking beer. I will come back home and enjoy this woman's labor. This is how you will be wrapping your brand. And I tell you, though we are playing with this, but this psychological effect turns out positively on your business life because you are happy at home. You just discover that you are now more creative. Yeah, yeah, you are yeah. now more fulfilling. Yeah. You don't just feel like uh, how some African men or 
any man in the world is treating their wives like a pa a piece of garbage that will give you more love yeah and it's when you have more love you're well balanced psychologically you're well balanced in your thinking that you'll be able you know fashion it takes a lot of thinking especially when you're cutting you have to concentrate well when, when i'm cutting and my children are disturbing I'm like, what are, what what are you doing stop that so but when you when your man is supportive and you you you're dressing the right way you're keeping him there's nothing disturbing you you'll not be missing your customers clothes you'll not be missing up anything let me tell you if your home is not is, is not in great shape i tell you it will affect your business that's just one thing for you to be a very well advanced fulfilling fashion designer you need a steady home yeah yeah you need a steady home because once your home is happy everything about you will be happy and uh, maybe you are here you are not yet married you are in a relationship or the likes all this trick will also still work for you prepare your mind towards that make sure that every time you come even if it is just two clothes that you have you're always playing mm. some game with it if the clothes is long in the next uh, four weeks or one month that you have used it cut it into three quarter you know cut it into three quarter it change the hem change the hem with some design it will be as if you are wearing something new another time Reduce it again. Let it be smaller than that. Do you know I have Ch one six yard of Ankara. I've made four different styles out of that Ankara. Let me tell you, even on YouTube, that Ankara I have six yards. When there was this uh, pandemic, that was what I had at home. Do you know what? I made one puffy sleeve with it. After that, I made uh, what's it called? These uh, crusaders, as in, I made these uh, circles with it. After that, I made what again with it. I made something now. I made a jacket with it. I made an off shoulder uh, kimono with it. no shoulder kimono. So it's just like play with you might see me wearing it, but it's different ways. It's different ways. Uh, somebody is saying, Wow, this is also awesome. <laughs> Toby. Thank you. Okay, okay. I think I know Toby. Yeah, so. With that being said, we go to the number five. Okay. The number five way. We have seven ways. So we're almost rounding up. If you're just joining in, please try to give it thumbs up, share, like, and this is the Cetrus Talk Show slash QA. Yeah. We and are if, you have fashion, if you have fashion related, related questions, questions, drop you it. You can also drop it. We are keeping up how you can keep your mind using your fashion sense, your fashion skill. That's just the topic today. So the number fifth on the line is creating fashion inspection scenario hmm. creating fashion inspection, inspection scenario, scenario let me tell you man. you must always inspect your man to keep him because if you don't inspect him ah men they are like they are like a microsoft notebook that can easily contract virus they can be viralized <laughs> virology <laughs> so the greatest vaccine you can give to your man <laughs> is to inspect him. <laughs> now, how do you inspect your man? Now, you must know how to use fashion to inspect your man. Mm -hmm. Purposely, make sure that you are the one dressing him up. Mm -hmm. It's very essential. Make sure that always you tell him, oh, this tie is blends good. with this, this and this shoe is okay, is what you should wear be washing your man if he's dressing up and people are giving him a colleague that are ah, nice dressing and all those sorts he will be returning back to you he will be asking you okay how do i does this match does that match you know that you are already in a good relationship with him so the other so, way so how to now test him to inspect him how to now test him to inspect him whether he's derailing whether some of these small, small, tuke tuke girls, they are now putting virus into his brain. It's very simple. At some specific time, when he's asking you, uh, is this color okay? Another stuff. Purposely give him a match colors. Hello? Purposely give him colors that are do not match. Let, let him wear pink and green trousers and purple shoe to the <laughs> office sometimes. Now wait. If he will come back from the office, you understand? Changed. Uh. Changed. Or he will come back the way you have sent him out of the house. Mm -hmm. When he comes back the way he has sent him out of the house, try to inquire from him. If anybody ever told him the way he was dressed today. Are you with me? 
if anybody ever had the opportunity to tell him, know that the next question you should ask, don't ask as if you're angry. Ah, I, I love that person. What's, what's the person's name? Immediately you hear a female's name, know that there is trouble. <laughs> That's how to catch your man. Immediately you know what? That there is a what? That is a female's name. Just know that there is trouble. So you will now begin to ask him questions. Again. So, uh, Mm-hmm. You don't hide it though. So oh, so it's now Nimota that is the chair lady in charge of your dress code now. From this week, I'll be the one to choose your clothes. From that moment, begin to give him baggy. Don't <laughs> let him wear pencil pencil trousers. Don't be wicked. <laughs> no, I know what I'm saying though. Let him that it is what I choose that you wear for one week. For listening to his to an outsider, you do it playfully, but Make, Make sure, sure he, he, wears, he it. wears it. So that that joker yeah. over there, we know that he doesn't have the remote control of your law law. Or of <laughs> law, your husband, law. rather. So all these adjustments of checking your husband, you just play with it, and you know, he comes back. When he wears baggy and the likes, you should tell them, tell him you should tell them that my wife loves it so. Again? So, uh, but but, no, no, when a uh, worker... When we we're working uh, some days past and our worker were designing some clothes for my husband, I told him, I said, next time, this is how you do it. You know I'm the one to say this is what I want him wear. As in, he was laughing, he said, yes, sir. yes, ma, yes, ma. I said, yes, now, I'm the one that will tell him. At times, I said, I don't want you to wear this thing. <laughs> If you see this, my wife, she can like to, she can like to select clothes for me. I said this is not correct. This, I'll be like, this is very, very. But correct. you too, you can like to select clothes. Ah. Do you know that it got to a point yeah, when yeah. I went to the market? I went to the market. I wanted to buy a bag, even if I want to buy hats or slippers or bag. I must snap it and send to my husband and say, do you like it? Because if he doesn't like it, you know the jig. I'm not going to use it because if, if I don't like, if I don't like it, she can't. Put it on and follow Anytime me. we are going out, you say, I don't like it. So one day I went to the market. I was pricing a bag and I snapped it. I sent it. I said, my husband, the man said, hey, God, give me this type of wife. Oh, your husband must say you should buy me for him. And that's how it should be. Both ways. Both ways. Because what you are not seeing, the other person will see it. You understand? And that's how to keep your relationship. You just what of our wedding gown? Oh. Let me tell you our wedding gown story. Oh. You know, as in we are this conservative Christian, I was like, so when we wanted to do our wedding gown, as in my husband actually told me that I want this wedding gown. So I just went. I went to do another one. So the people that were expecting us in church, when we just got there, all his eyes was just torn, was just changed, was like red. They said, "What happened?" So I don't like that cloth. I don't like it. And it was just on days to the wedding. Maybe just a week or there about for your wedding. I'll do another word. I'd, let me yeah, let me come in into that story. Now did... <laughs> the way she's saying that story is not as palatable as that. One. This is my wife, eh? Hey, a lot. I change. I change. Emmy with God. The battery is low. Yeah. This is my wife, eh? Me to laugh. Sorry, I I want to plug the phone. Sorry, Emmy. You know what actually happened then? Quick, in terms of clothing designs and the likes make sure you get a bed because they brought out the thing i was like my goodness is this what you said they are they've made and it's so fantastic i said like like you can do this with me that was how i rejected it i now have to pay extra for them to make another wedding gown in less than how many days but you know what at the end of the day it turned out to be very beautiful and people really 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 love it and even she she was proud of it so we have some some comment okay. she, thank you mm-hmm. uh madam catherine said mom my love okay we've not read this okay Olua Toby said i watch mrs Cetro videos i don't know mr Cetro is as lively as this <laughs> i never, never knew you are you are lively every, you, you, are you are live, live every, every wednesday. wednesday okay promise to watch oh. from now on okay. this is beautiful, beautiful. fantabulous love you but <laughs> yes you are always live thank, thank every wednesday much. 2 p.m. Nigerian time and 1 GMT. Madam Catherine said, Are you on to Mom, I love your smiles. It's so beautiful. You are very beautiful woman. <laughs> Keep it up. I'm from Ghana. I will come for more talk on love. <laughs> you want to talk about love? Love. 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 Love.
Let him know about love. <laughs> what? <laughs> Say thank you. God bless thank you. God. More God bless wisdom. you thank you. So we are always ready. Come for more talk on love. Okay. Um, if you have more int- more topics you want us to treat on relationship, just tell us. As pertaining to fashion, we treat topics on fashion. And this Cetro's talk show, it's, it's a talk everything. show. It's about everything slash Q&A. So we treat your questions. Whatever you want us to treat, we treat it. So Oluato be said, I enjoyed every bit of this conversation. We have queued our partners with spirituality, nonchalance, and like a dicical attitude. I repent. I'm not the bad. I'm not that bad, but I will do more with love. Thank you. Love I'm you. happy to hear love this. You, love you. I'm happy to don't, hear this. Don't kill your partner with, with spirituality. Uh, with spirituality. <laughs> See, eh? the spirit is different from the, 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 the human the part. Of, hmm. And uh, if you if you do not treat your husband well, if you don't dress well, if you don't make your husband happy, forget mm. it. Or you will continue to pray. Your husband will be playing sunka outside. <laughs> You know, I used to ask my husband some straight questions at times. I was like, ah, do you really? I just ask some things. Okay, where you want to ask those things? Some in, in things. I said, ah, ah, what about this one? He said, don't you know before I said, eh? So it's every man that is. Mm, forget <laughs> about the Bible part. Bible, said, so it's every Bible, man. Bible even is against it. Bible is against it when you allow your partner to go into sin because of your carelessness. And that's why you see. Why do you think that uh, the wife in the Bible they always come with veil to cover their face? It's to create, you know, to 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 seal some things to make it more unique. Because human beings, we men, we would love to see something new. new every day. So by the time we are removing the veil, the face looks so new. So oh, bag bay, bag bay. <laughs> forget it. <laughs> can imagine? Can imagine if she's here with me now? As she's tapping me now, I'm not even annoyed. But if she now wear one Mangila bear clothes and uh, she, she, all her hair has cut and she slapped me, I'll be like, who is this housemate? <laughs> Let me go away from the camera. What is <laughs> so, please, men they don't, don't want housemate. They want so, partners. So, number six is, we are, we are almost rounding up today's show, yeah. is create fashion punishment guide. For your husband oh yeah okay Explain. <laughs> fashion punishment guide see yes the best way to punish your husband when he misbehaves is that number one make sure that it's just like just now, no? just see collect this information and keep it very well when your husband misbehaves and you want to punish him fashion wise you know all the while you have been the one taking care of his designs making sure he's looking good and bam and people have been commenting ah madam is taking good care of you when your husband start misbehaving, number one, call your dry cleaner. Tell, pay him ahead though, and tell him that if he doesn't want to lose his job with you guys, you should not release your husband's clothes for two weeks. So when he, when your husband will be calling him, he will just be saying, "Sir, I'm sorry. I will, I will bring it. I will bring it. Uh, when I will bring it, then your, you the wife, you be the one to be telling your husband. You understand with that guy now. Don't worry. I will help you do your laundry." Do you know why you are doing that? You are punishing him from having access to those clothes that has been making his head to be swelling up. Be wawalizing. Another ch- yes. ch- 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 They want to rake him out of the family. So what you now do is, the little clothes at home, you will now show him that women are very, very important. You'll be helping him to manage to wash the little one at home, wash it, Iron it in the way you can iron it. Don't let it be too, too. <laughs> don't let it be too, too well ironed, so that he will know the effect of this thing by the time he puts it on. When he has gone through that painful process, now call him and tell him what you have done. That this thing is just a warning on the power of a woman, because you have been dressing him up. All this why? All these girls. That's are why these small, small girls that have refused to go and look for their husband, that are using their husband to do boyfriend, hmm. that they now want to come and scatter the home. You sit in down, you talk sense into his head, and you now call the dry cleaner. By the time you call in the dry cleaner to bring the clothes, and now tell him that you are the one that have told the dry cleaner not to bring the clothes all this way. From that day, that husband will respect you. And he will not be afraid. 
because he now knows that a woman can do a and woman can do. finish him. <laughs> because men, some men need to know that a woman can finish them. They some don't. of them do not really know that woman can finish them. So that's why they just do anything. They will say, "I'm the man of the house." See, who to be the man? My advice to you, men, to be the man of the house, eh? You have to. Uh, I don't know why I'm saying this now. You have to just stylishly let the woman feel as if he's in control. You understand? But if you want to be, I'm the man of the uh, only warm, pure water and gari, you will drink like this, you will wash plate. <laughs> so I pray you not fall into that. But okay. on a more serious note, there should be a way that uh, women should be able to, like, you know, curtail their husband from going into error or excesses because at the end of the day, both of you will suffer it. The and the ju- children, the children that do not know the anything children, right. just all and these wicked girls out there, wicked women. You, you should understand that uh, all this stuff, eh? men. I don't know what is wrong with men. Maybe the way they are wired. Some of them, some men, if they see lizard, tying wrapper, they will follow. So those ones, mm, some of these that we have talked. Okay, I will talk about those ones by the time we are wrapping up. I will show you how to handle those ones. <laughs> so the number seven one, but not the least, is collectively select or choose a perfume, cream, etc. for him. Hey, my dear. A... <laughs> that, this last one, eh? That's what they call chibo. <laughs> See, you need to understand your man to the point of his perf or, or body spray or roll on. You need to understand what he's wearing and now he's wearing them. So that there is no way a man will start cheating on you that if you are very wise, from day one, you will know. By the time you smell another perf on his body, you should be able to know that mm-hmm, this is not my husband's perf. Because if you are the one that doesn't smell the perf, mm. uh, husband, they have carried him. Because majority of these uh, twenke twenke they live a smelly life, so they cover it <laughs> up with perfume. Mm. I'm just telling you the truth. They live a smelly life, but they cover up their life with perfume, mm. with air spray, with so many things and the likes of them. So, no matter, even if it is ordinary or the old girls, man. Yeah, it's going to rub on the... On the body, will be there. And if they now... Uh, who could care, care? <laughs> the, <laughs> <laughs> that one, eh? The smell will be permanent. By the time they come back, you'll be able to know. So, and it's better if you get to know this thing. Ah, to, to take... What is what is happening? This is not our perf. Who who has started coming this close? So from there, you will know how to talk to him carefully. Then the ultimate, which is the final way to keep your man, apart from all these ones that we have just listed out. All men is only God that has their password. So you go to your to your prayer room. To what mistake is both of you? And if you are saying that it doesn't concern me, your children, so your, are your prayer so, room in your religion, and yeah, as in your whatever religion, religion you, you practice, call on your and when you are calling on your God, don't call your on your God like a stupid person. Call on your God with specific prayers. Prayers like this. Oh God, every girl, every short skirt girl that is running a after woman. a woman or olori burukulized persons that are running after my husband, Colombia driver marriage, I command thunder, fire. You begin to, you, oh, by the time you pray. <laughs> People sent in their comment. Yes. By the time you, oh, they will, the woman will just discover that. Do you know there is one particular prayer I prayed? So she, I told her that prayer. It's not a prayer I can tell. Like there's only women I can tell them one on one, so that it will not be as if I'm. You see that I prayed that prayer, eh? <laughs> when I told my husband, have I told you that prayer before? No, that prayer that. that. Okay. Oh you not say this prayer. <laughs> As on, it, online, is giving come and your, ask for that, that prayer. You need that prayer. Te, eh? Kogbar or Shelley. It will not happen. I love and some <laughs> women. They just use maybe twice in a year. You know that most of these things that happen, it happens mostly twice in a year during Christmas. That all these girls, they want to look for 
people's husband to and snatch. during valentine and during valentine that don't they are looking for mumurai's man man to spoil the family so they will just go into the archive where they have those prayers number do you want me to mention the prayer don't mention no, it. No, no, no. Women. Woman. I want him. to take his breath. Let him be taking in only carbon dioxide. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody said this before we wrap up the show. <laughs> he said, uh, Catherine said, thank you so much, sir. But you guys look like, oh, love you both. You are, you are, you <laughs> are, kill, like, oh. uh, you are killing me with, uh, on my, and Catherine also said, uh, all you are saying is the truth. God bless. And then Madame Oluwatobi said, All oh, the Jews, the oh, Jews. my husband, Turners forcing uh, themselves on my husband. Holy Ghost fire. <laughs> <laughs> well, this one are very simple. I don't just want to waste your time because uh, that is another one that if you hear this one, this, the woman was just praying that, Ah, God. Any woman trying to snatch this husband that I suffer to send to school, and now we are married. <laughs> One useless Jessica is now wanting to jembe. Ah! <laughs> what happened? May I like Jera? <laughs> May I like Rotten? Hey, so, Adam <laughs> Esther, Esther Ogunjimu. Must it uh, be only Esther woman? Esther Ogunjimu. Ah, uh, is this the person I know? Is this, Let me, Esther must, Ogunji, must it is be a... only woman that must pray to keep a man, and are men also praying not to lose their wives? Is him is still is still to just one woman? I uh, know today. Men. Today is for women. Today is for Don't women. Don't worry, the day for, for men. men are mm, coming. Get you, will girl, you will see the. That's talking. why you know that men too praise. Men too, they can pray. Men too praise, oh. <laughs> but men do You might not even know because men know they don't wait for it to happen. In their mind, they will just be praying. Let me give you one example. Some men will just be like, this is my wife that has taken care of like this in time of low income and high income. And anybody is looking at, at her lustfully, make that eyes blind. <laughs> <laughs> Please, this is where we draw the continue on today's show. That's just it. If you're just joining, please try to do a repeat of today's show. It's been interesting all the way. And thank you to all those that have commented, that have liked, that have shared. If you're just watching, don't forget to like, to comment. And in the next episode, that will be next Wednesday by 2 p.m. Nigerian time. That's one GMT. We'll be coming to you with another. Love you. We remain the Cetrus. This is the Cetrus Talk Show. Catch you. Bye. Bye bye. Let's just have your comments. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>